Praise the Lord, my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you yet again for coming back to the channel for another video here at MOG Investors, which stands for Man of God Investors. This channel is a Christian based channel in regarding as far as investing in many different aspects, cryptocurrency, stock market, real estate, and many other things that the Lord get, puts in my spirit to talk about. So if you're interested in a channel like that, in contests like that, content like that, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell button and share with some friends and family. Brothers and sisters in Christ, y'all already know what's going on. The wealth transfer. We have seen so many prophecies, heard so many prophecies uh, along this line with different, with different tokens. There was the Shiba Inu prophecy all over YouTube. You got the Luna Classic, you got the XRP and, and XLM. Those are the four that I can remember on the top of my head that I have heard. Yeah, excuse me. I got to talk at a lower volume. My children are asleep. Last thing I want to do is wake them up, right? I got, you know, little kids. So now I wanted to get on here. I prayed about this for a while and the Lord is leading me to make this video to talk about the prophetic pricing that you're seeing. I'm sure y'all have seen some prices of 10 cents, 50 cents, $10, $12, and things of that nature. I want to try to make sense out of these prophetic pricing that we're getting. Are they realistic? Can it really happen? Let's go over it. Now, I want to start, before, before we go over it, I want to say this, that I don't know what the Lord told anybody. That's not for me to speak on. Right. So everything that I'm going to talk about, I want you all to literally take everything and go before God and ask God for confirmation. If what I'm saying is correct or wrong or anything that anybody else says, make sure you take get back to God. I'm not here to give you financial advice. I don't have degree in finance advice at all. I'm just simply talking about what I believe is happening. And don't quote me on no prophetic advice as far as this pricing all right i'm just going to go over the pricing and we're going to just break it down so some of y'all can understand how certain things can happen and what's mu what must happen for some of those things to actually take place so i hope i don't bore y'all in this in this presentation so what i'm gonna do is let me share my screen here this right here is a website called coin market cap so what you do in this website you can see the list of the top cryptocurrency like currently right now Shiba Inu is ranked number 15. You can see the price of Shiba. You can see how what's the, it's been down 11% for the whole week, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. As you can see, it shows you everything that's going on. Right here, market cap. This is it's showing you the total amount of money that's currently circulating within Shiba. So this is all the people that have bought Shiba. All of that money is sitting right here. This is five billion five hundred and ninety four million eight hundred and seventeen thousand three hundred and seventy nine dollars. So there's currently just under six billion dollars that's flowing inside of Shiba. Right. Fully diluted. This is the fully diluted market cap means this is the total amount, including tokens that have been removed out of circulation. That's called burning tokens. Right. That's, that's what that is. And the volume, this is the amount of money, money that's been flowing between buys and sell in the last 24 hours of Shiba Inu. And this right here is the circulation supply, 549 trillion tokens, right? So the total supply is, uh, the total supply is 589, 50,000 of them got removed. So the, now the, the, the current total supply of Shiba is 549 trillion 63 billion um let me read it let me pull it up over here Six, okay 549 trillion 63 billion 278 million 876 thousand three hundred and two tokens so let's just slow simple it down and say 549 trillion dollars now how you get this market cap right here is you multiply the total supply with the current price up here. So that 530, 49 trillion, if you multiply it by this price, you're going to get this. So let me share my other screen. Now that I did that short little breakdown, I want to share some uh, another screen here. Now, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not trying to discourage 
um, anything. I just want us to completely understand what is being presented. I want y'all to be wise with what's going on because the transfer of wealth, I don't want anybody to miss. If you're not wise and you're not doing it the right way, you're going to completely miss it. You're going to completely miss it because you're either holding on too long or you're selling too early. So I'm just here to try to share this wisdom so you can be prepared. So let me share this screen right here. I just did a quick little work, right? Um, I hope y'all can see that. I think I made it big enough so where y'all can see it. All right. So what I did right here, you can see this is the, uh, let me actually highlight them. I'm a, uh, let me highlight that. So on the left side, that's the token supply. I'm going to highlight. All right. Let me do that real quick and then we'll go over it, y'all. I should have did that so y'all can see it a little bit better. But anyways, on the left side that you can see, that's going to be the total supply. So, all right. So what I did here, this is the current supply. So in when Shiba Inu, if it reaches one penny, right, that means this much money has to come in. That means that money, much money must have been bought to push the price all the way up to a penny. And this is five trillion. Four hundred and ninety billion six hundred and thirty two million seven hundred and eighty nine thousand to seven hundred and sixty three dollars. So overall, five and a half trillion dollars has to come in just in Shiba Inu. Before I even keep going, I want to tell you this right now, as we speak, the whole entire crypto market, that means Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of the top cryptocurrency put together comes up to just about $2.5 trillion, just roughly about that area. So in order for Shiba Inu to reach one penny with the current supply that it has, it has to, it, there's got to be five and a half trillion dollars that comes in it. In order for it to reach 50 cents, you got to have $274 trillion come in it. And in order for it to reach $1, Five hundred and forty nine trillion dollars has to come in. It. That money has to come from somewhere. I don't know how it's going to happen. If that price is going to happen, I'm going to share what I think is going to happen in the end. Now, let's just say 50 percent of that supply get burned. Right. So 50 percent of the supply is going to be two hundred and seventy four thousand trillion tokens. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to slip, simplify it. 274,000 trillion is half the supply. Now, keep in mind, in order for the tokens to get burned, that means 274,000 trillion of that token has to be bought first and then removed out of circulation. So money got to buy it and then it's got to burn that token out of supply, right? This is why it's been difficult to burn Shiba Inu because it's going to cost a lot of money. Now, let's say somehow, some way, 50% of the supply get burned, right? Which I believe will actually happen. I personally do believe 50% will get burned. I don't know how soon. In order for it to reach one penny after 50% of the supply is burned, that means $2.7 trillion has to be bought to push the price up to a penny. In order for it to reach 50 cents, 137 trillion. In order for it to reach one dollar, it's 274 trillion. This this is a lot of money. And keep in mind, only 2.5 trillion is currently circulating in the whole entire crypto space. Right. And also keep in mind the stock market that's been around for ages, which is way more popular and way more sustainable. It um, even though it's down last time I looked at it, it's down to like 40 trillion right and and it's way down from what it what it usually peak right it's way way down so that that's what the price would have to be right now let's say 80 percent of the token get burned that means 439 trillion tokens was bought and then removed out of circulation which leaves us with 109 trillion let's just say 110 trillion tokens right so with 110 trillion tokens left on the uh, current circulation supply in order for Shiba Inu to reach one penny, that means one trillion uh, or 1.1 1 
trillion dollars has to come in to Shiba Inu to push the price all the way to a penny. And at 50 cents, it would be at 54 trillion dollars. And to one dollar, that would be a hundred and nine trillion dollars. Y'all notice I'm stopping at one dollar because the other digits that I have seen prophecy would just be. I, I couldn't even try to make sense out of it right now. And again, I don't know what the Lord has told these people. I'm not going to speak on that. That's not where I'm coming from at all. I just want us to be wise with what we're doing, right? Everything that you hear, take it to the spirit. You got to test the spirit to make sure this is what the Lord is saying. You might be positioning yourself to see something and it never does it. And then you miss out on it. Who knows, right? Take it to God. Take it to God. Now, Let's just say somehow, some way they managed to burn 90% of Sheba supply. Let's just say it just managed to burn 90%. That would be 494 trillion tokens that has to be bought and then removed out of circulation. That's what burning tokens means. This means to remove it out of current circulation. So let's say that's that actually happens in order for Sheba to reach one penny after 90 percent of the supply is burned it would have to reach it would have to have a total market cap 549 billion dollars that sounds much better right 549 billion dollars uh, that amount of money flowing in, in shiba with this current supply with 90 percent of the supply burnt away will put shiba inu price at one penny right now in order for it to reach 50 cents that would be 27 trillion dollars in order for it to reach one dollar that would be 54 trillion dollars right now i did one more scenario because i'm just very optimistic i'm very bullish on it right let's just say somehow some way 95 percent of the supply gets burnt that means somehow some way 95 percent of it was bought and then removed out of circulation once that happened right and for, in order for Shiba Inu to reach one penny, that would mean Shiba Inu has to go from that five billion market cap that is at right now. And it has to go all the way up to two hundred and seventy four billion five hundred and thirty one million six hundred and thirty nine thousand four hundred and thirty eight dollars. Now, is that doable? Yes, it's very doable. Bitcoin price right now is roughly about that price at this current moment. Um, the Bitcoin price. Let me actually. Uh, uh, I'm 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 gonna uh, do a quick glance at Bitcoin current total market cap. Bitcoin is the number one crypto in the world. Okay, so Bitcoin current market cap is at three hundred and sixty six, well three hundred and sixty seven billion. So Bitcoin is a little bit more. So I do personally think that Shiba could get to that price if it burns ninety five percent of the supply. Now for it to reach fifty cents, that means it will have to uh, have 13 13.7 trillion dollars one dollar would be 27 trillion dollars so ultimately the point that i'm making is a lot of the token supply has to be removed even 95 percent is still still not enough in my opinion but it could happen what do i personally think is more realistic listen here's what i here's what i'm saying the Lord has not given me any price target as far as Shiba Inu. What the Lord has given me is to be wise and to pay attention with what is happening. That in order for those prices that that I have seen in prophecy to actually take place, that literally means money have to come out of thin air. Somebody has to spend this money. It's called transfer of wealth, right? That's what it's called, transfer of wealth that means people like elon musk bill gates have to be willing to spend their money and put it in now keep this in mind some of those prices that they're talking about is well more beyond the worth of those individual elon musk is not worth one trillion dollar he's not he's worth just a little over half a billion i mean not, uh over he's worth like 600 billion dollars He's almost worth a trillion dollars and we're seeing market cap of like crazy amount of trillion dollars. Now, let's be logical here. Let's be really, really logical. Some of these prices seem very unrealistic. However, God works in different ways. Now, 
personally, I don't believe that it's ever going to reach any of those prices that I have seen. This is my personal take. I don't believe it's ever going to reach any of those prices. And the Lord has never given me any of those prices. And I'm not speaking against anybody. I'm just speaking from what I have received. What I believe is going to happen is somehow, some way, Sheba is going to find a way to burn off so many of these tokens. Realistic price that I can see in the end is about one penny. That's the realistic price that I can see. And how long it can take personally, personally, I think is going to take several years before she will reach that price. Because let's be real, people, in order for the transfer of wealth to take place, that means this money has to come from somewhere to come in in order for us to receive it. Right. And I just don't see that much money being put in, because as much as you think, th as much as these um, the people like spending their money, they're just they just don't foolishly spend their money when it comes to stuff like this. So you got to be wise and be prepared. Some of y'all are, are listening where it says set yourself a uh, price at like twelve dollars or something. It may never reach that. The transfer can happen for so many people and they're going to benefit. They're going to sell at a penny or less than a penny and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Some of y'all are doing this expecting to get. $10 million out of this or $100 million out of this. That may happen. I don't know how much money you work with, but what I do know for sure for me, that ain't happening for me. I don't expect to make to, to see Shiba Inu at $1. Now, if Shiba Inu somehow, some way burns 99% of the supply, that's a different conversation. I don't even want to do the math because it would cost so much money for it to reach that. I hope I'm making sense. And I hope that I, yeah, I don't think that I'm trying to be negative here. I'm actually trying to educate. I just want to bring wisdom to the body, right? You hearing these prices, they look good. They sound great when somebody's prophesying $12, $15 or, or, or even 50 cents, you know, that's crazy. That's crazy amount of money that has to come in, but the Lord can do many things, right? So my message that I am encouraging y'all is everything that I am saying, I'm not saying that I'm right and I'm not saying they're right. What I am saying is please go to your prayer closet. Please go before the Lord and ask him to give you clear confirmation, wisdom, knowledge and understanding so you can be properly prepared for the transfer of wealth. So that you don't be left holding the bag. What I mean by holding the bag, you over here expecting ten dollars. And it gets to a penny and it gets right back down and never goes back up. I don't want you to miss out. What I would strongly suggest. Now, this is not final financial advice. If you're invested in Shiba, what I would strongly suggest is half sell points. Right. Right now, there's four zeros in Shiba. Right. So let's just say. Let me lower this down a little. There's four zeros in Shiba. Right. Let's just say Shiba burns two zeros. <clears throat> Actually, it burns one zero and you put a thousand dollars in there and your thousand dollars is worth. Let's say let's say your thousand dollars is worth eighty thousand dollars. The smart thing to do is to sell some, maybe not all of it. Right. Me, if I put a thousand dollars and it jumps to eighty thousand dollars, I'm selling at least fifty to sixty thousand dollars and I'm willing to let the rest sit. I'm already doing great financially because. I started off with a thousand. Now I got sixty thousand because I sold to a sixty thousand. Then I let the less the twenty thousand sit, and if it continues to jump, then I take a profit along the way. The message that I'm trying to say here is: don't be greedy when it comes to this, right? So that's the video I have for y'all. I want to do more in depth videos. If this, if y'all like this type of video, let me know so I can be more in depth, and more precise with what's going on. Uh, um, is in regarding the, uh, the transfer of wealth. That's my whole goal of this channel. I want to prepare y'all as much as possible so we don't miss, right? We will miss if we just believe all, any price target, right? It's, it's, oh, it, it sounds good, but it doesn't mean that it's right. Now, before I leave y'all, I wanted to go ahead and share a scripture. Let me, um, I got to remove this screen. Let me add my Bible screen i want to leave y'all with a scripture for the day right <clears throat> you know i gotta do this so the scripture for the day today is going to be in luke so we got luke chapter 12 verse 40 and it goes be ye therefore ready also for the son of man cometh at an hour when you think not 
let me rephrase that in the form of the wealth transfer. Make sure you are prepared and positioned by getting in the right place, having the right plan being set. So that way, when it happens, you're ready to strike and execute. It won't catch you off guard. So the scripture, yet again, Luke 12, verse 40. Be ye therefore also be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when ye think not. So I praise God for you all. I thank you all for all the love and support. If you appreciate this type of content, please consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing it with some friends and family. And let's get ready and be prepared for this transfer to wealth because it surely is coming. With that being said, I love you all with the mighty love of Jesus Christ. You all stay blessed and I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out.